weil du nicht mehr weißt, wie du heißt. Ja? Und, ähm, Oder wohnst. Und es steht vor allen Dingen auch die Adresse drauf, wo du wohnst. Was ist das für eine Karte? Da steht alles drauf. Also die, wo man anrufen kann, falls es Schwierigkeiten gibt, also beim Lehrer. Ich hasse die Kamera. Ihr Mobiltelefon können Sie gerne in den Flugmodus schalten, aber während der Start- und Landefahrt ist die Verwendung nicht gestattet. Wendy. Cindy, pleased to meet you. Hello, I'm Stephanie. <coughs> Hello, Stephanie. Welcome to Whitsicle. Thank you. The two girls are staying Stay with, with Wendy. Yes. Oh, and the two boys, uh, the host Wendy. family is not in at the moment, so she's going to take the okay. two yeah. boys uh, and then arrange, yeah. arrange for Cathy to pick them up. Right. Hi, I'm Madeleine. Nice to meet and you. Nice and can we nice also have our meeting? Yeah, Martin and Felix are the next. Coming to lunch at mine. Nice to meet you, Martin. Lovely to meet you, Felix. Come Thanks, Madeleine. <laughs> Jamie, are you nervous? I'm very nervous. I've got some more children. <laughs> I have lots of children at home. <laughs> <laughs> lots of people to play with. That's good. Uh, Sophie. And Sophia. Sophia. Sophia and Sophia. Oh, Charlotte. Um, Hi, Sophie. Sophie. One L. Oh, Hi. Good. Good. Okay. Shall we go? Okay. okay. Yes. Okay. Oh, it's okay. Just leave it out. Okay. <laughs> Morgen kommen drei Mädchen aus Deutschland zu uns ins Haus und wir wohnen neben denen im Zimmer. Mir ist echt heiß. Nette Familie. How is your home? It's lovely, it's lovely. And there's a nice beautiful garden, there's a tiny pond, you can sit there and relax. But I write a diary and read a little bit and hear music.
who is quite naughty and he was throwing stones on the beach because we were at the beach and um, and he hit a girl in the head a girl called Kayla and then um, she she had her head cracked open and luckily there was a doctor nearby but she had to go to the doctors and get her head stitched up and that was on Whitstable Beach yeah Whitstable Beach so it's always better not to throw stones. Yeah. Yeah. I think I will tell my pu my pupils. <laughs> good. So I have another question. Do you think it's a good idea for students to come to England? Yeah. Why? Because England is a nice place. What can England offer? What does that mean? What are the, the good things about England? The good things about England is that there are lots of places to go in London and in Canterbury and in Whitstable and wherever you want to go. And lots of places are really fun. That's good. It's exactly the three places we want to go. <laughs> Which is best? They're all very good. But I think London and Whitstable. Yeah. And of course we have beautiful weather, but we keep that a secret. <laughs> Otherwise, more and more people would come. Yeah. Nein, es ist eh nicht. Das ist eigentlich nichts Schlimmes. Gestern hatten wir Fish and Chips. Das war so gut. Ich habe mal ausgerechnet, wie viele Tage es noch sind. William the Conqueror came and defeated our king, King Harold. Now this was a big deal, okay, because it was the last time that England has been invaded by another country and they've won. Okay. I do want you to think, you're in England, 2,000 years ago the Romans came and they conquered and they turned England into a small part of Rome. And then a thousand years ago the Normans came. They turned England into a small part of France. The question you should be thinking is, when did England begin? When did the English culture appear? Because the Romans brought the Latin language and the Normans brought Latin and French. When the Normans came, the English lost their country. The Normans came and they, they took possession of all the land and the English were slaves. But the Normans stayed and they married the English women. And gradually, they stopped thinking of themselves as Norman and started to think of themselves as English and they started to use the English language. But the big, the big change came when the first book was written. Not in Latin, not in French, but in English. And that book was the Canterbury Tale. And it's a collection of stories of people leaving London 
to visit the cathedral in Canterbury. Please switch off your engine when barriers are down to help improve air quality. Und dann haben wir so eine Geschichte uns selber ausgedacht und dann haben wir irgendwie was präsentiert und haben wir Punkte dafür bekommen. Ja, und es war ein Urlaubsdeck. Sport, entertainment, politics, weather. Good evening and welcome to the BBC News at 6 o'clock. Good morning and welcome to the 10 o'clock news. Okay. Let's start with the politics. Okay. Fashion expert, Jamie Lee Sanchez. Rihanna was not wearing anything. That shocked a lot of people. Okay, that was the fashion. <laughs> <laughs> and now... Let's come to the terrible things of the week of the day, to the crime with Hassan. Now we get into the crime news. I robbed the phone two million dollars from a bank and put it in his bag. Thank you, Hassan, for your report. So now politic with Mark. Thank you. <laughs> So, today in Catalonia, that is in Spain, there were massive demonstrations because they wanted to be independent. So, an old lady got hit by a car and she's in the hospital. And the police are searching for this very bad man. And if you see him, please call this number. So, people, ladies and gentlemen, this number is Scott. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching and we'll see you tomorrow. Okay. This news was presented by <laughs> Yazoo. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Okay, no, I'm already saying this is very, very good. Okay, how is your host family? Very friendly. And yeah. In the beginning you were a bit afraid yeah. of the father. Why? He has a dark voice and yeah. <laughs> and he makes funny jokes. Yeah. <laughs> but now you're not afraid anymore. No, it's funny. <laughs> she loves her host family. <laughs> You've got Germans as well? <laughs> Boys or girls? Boys. Oh, are they nice? Yes. What crime did you commit? I stole the potatoes from the market. Have you ever committed a crime? <laughs> when did you commit this crime? I need uh, money to go to the university. I have um, downloaded videos and films without pay. David, illegal downloader. Yes, okay, yes, illegal downloader. Okay. Okay, and when did you commit this crime? It's a year ago. What type of crime are you? Um, I think uh, I have a. You can think. Chefi. Chefi. Mia. Chefi and Okay, you have done just a little exercise of asking the same questions 
because the questions are always the same, but listening to different answers. Steffi, you are free. Congratulations. <laughs> Eight hundred and eighty years old. Um, so uh, built in eleven thirty. In fact, until uh, the early nineteen seventies, this bridge took the whole of the traffic, the cars, from uh, London to Dover. Does anyone know the name of the river that we were on? No. This is the River Stour. That's What's that's your that's opinion that's about that's England? Very cool. And the school is better it's than good. in Austria. Yes. Sorry about that. <laughs> the my loving Einberg is 100% not healthy. It comes from Scotland. But I think it's an energy drink. some questions. Yes. Can I ask you some question? We are from the Concord International School. Okay. How often do you use the internet? What kind of technology do you think most probably in the future? Yes. Jan and I we talk to to Dean, Dean and uh, Mike um, the, about the problems. They have with us, there was some misunderstands and then we spoke about mangas and animes. And, and then you were happy. <laughs> it was so kind and something. Gold is mittelmäßig, halt ein bisschen bisschen besser. Und Dia und Challenger sind ganz pro, also pro like. Dass man das richtig gut versteht, das Spiel halt. Manchmal gibt es auch Wehrkirchen in Städten. Most famous? The most famous uh, cathedral in England. Ja, das ist der Sitz des Höchsten in der, in der anglikanischen Kirche von hier. Er wurde get getötet. Um, Thomas Beckett. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome to our uh, last day. Kirsty and I have written reports for you, and the reports are inside the envelope. And we have a certificate for you from the school. Okay, um, I just want to say thank you so much for working so hard this week. I hope it's been a really useful week for you. Thank you. I want you to know that it takes courage to come to another land speak a different language, meet different teachers, and to eat English food. <laughs> so, because of this point, we, Kirsten and I, we want to thank you. We want to thank you for the hard working class, the respect you showed each other every time you spoke and you listened. Thank you very much. We want to thank you as class. Thank you for the wonderful week we had in the school. Yeah. <laughs> Really fun. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Leute. Das ist ein bisschen leise sein. Ich höre meine Mama nicht. Schöne Grüße an die Mami. Hast du was auf dem Weg? Nein, ich bin schon seit äh, Mittwoch ein bisschen traurig, dass wir. Äh, es, es ist schon bald Montag und wir fahren wir fliegen nach Hause und ich finde es so schade, weil es ist so schön hier. Aber wir haben trotzdem noch, heute ist Freitag, Samstag, Sonntag, okay Montag, ja, aber wir haben noch heute und zwei volle Tage, also es ist trotzdem noch schön. Jetzt kannst du eigentlich von dem Ort und der Gegend hier ein bisschen Abschied nehmen. Ja? Ich habe es gestern am Abend schon gemacht, ich war gestern schon urtraurig. Weil es ist, nein, es ist schön. How was The night. <lacht> Herr Obermeier, ich habe mal gestern ausgerechnet, wie, wie lange wir am Montag in Canterbury sind. This is our train. Everybody be careful. Thank you so much. You're welcome, Teacher Obermeier. So wie es aussieht, kostet unser London Ausflug heute jetzt nur 3,50 Pfund. Du springst jetzt Kaiser und 40 Euro pro Person. Genau. Und wie hast du das jetzt organisiert? Das waren die Family Tickets. Und das heißt, wir sind eigentlich eine große Familie. Jetzt. Genau, sind wir sowieso. <lacht> eine polygame Familie. <lacht> Two wives, 26 children. <lacht> We are all a big family. Did you know that? She is your mother, I am your father. She is also your mother. <lacht> so whenever the Schaffner comes, he just call me Daddy. Und wie zahlen Sie uns alle? Ja, Daddy. Ja. Na? Ja. Kannst du einfach so nehmen? Hast du es nicht gewusst? Nein. All included. No, it's a joke. <lacht> Sie mal, was ich zum Essen nehme. You have to give me a hint. Um, es hat mit einem heißen Hund zu tun. So, bitte wartet drinnen. Entgegen der Versprechungen finden wir den Schalter heute geschlossen vor. Also nützen wir die Helpline und telefonieren mit insgesamt drei verschiedenen freundlichen Menschen, die wahrscheinlich in Indien in einem Callcenter sitzen. Morning, we're a group with 26 children and three adults and we want to go to London and then there, there is no ticket office at Whitstable now. Okay. So you want to understand how you can go ahead and ask what is the second barrier? Yeah? yeah. Okay. Allow me a few seconds and let's know what you can do in this case. Okay. Okay. Well, if I look at the basic facilities, uh, then uh, ideally... Could there you? Is... Could you speak a little bit Sorry? slower, please? Okay. Okay. Uh, I think that... Uh, at the train station at Whitstable, uh, there's a ticket machine available at the train station. So you'll have to buy that ticket there. Yeah, but do we get this, this group tickets at the ticket machine? Sagt er. Also er, er hat aufgemacht. Ja. 
Dann sage ich ihm, ob, ob sich das noch ausgeht, weil wir haben keine Tickets. Sagt er, we will see. <lacht> Dann sagt er, ähm, ob wir die U-Bahn wollen oder nicht und äh, ob wir, wie viele wir sind. Sagt er mir einen Betrag von 495 Pfund. Sage ich, it's not possible. Yesterday I paid uh, 134. Uh, sagt er, ah, you don't want the younger grant. Na gut, dann rechnet er noch einmal, kommt auf 114. Sagt er wieder, so you want 24 children and 3 adults. So, sag ich, 26 children and 3 adults. Sagt er, no, I will check. No, the train is coming. You will get the tickets on the train. <laughs> Ich habe so Angst vor mir. Ich gebe dir Deckung. Unauffällig, unauffällig muss es machen. Ich will dich nicht erwischen. Wirklich jetzt? Das macht mir aber ein bisschen Angst. <lacht> Dreamers who took that step. Here's one for every time they jumped without a net. Here's one for misfits who broke the rules, who feared the boredom more than scorn or ridicule. You're scared. In the endless sky When the voices say that there's no way You'll ever make the grade Let's say you try And you fall from high When the sun is set Will you regret the fall Or the times you did nothing at all For magic that lives within For seeing beauty in the commonest of things This is the 4A of Mrs. Steif, also known as the Steif class in our school. Very good pupils, very few exceptions. To the ground and feel no shame You're scared in the endless sky When the voices say that there's no way You'll ever make the grade The same try And you fall from high When the sun is set Will you regret the fall? The times you did nothing at all Failures all Your dreams to wither on the vine Why is your brain refusing? What are you scared of losing? If you don't try, you'll fail every time You're scared to fly In the endless sky When the voices that there's no way you'll ever make the grade The same try And you fall from high When the sun is set Will you regret the fall Or the times you did nothing at all